going on YouTube? It's Yo PJD back with another video tonight. Having my tea, my herbal tea, well rested herbal tea. Pick this up from Trader Joe's. So tonight I want to um, just read the email I got and answer this question. So be to help somebody else. So the question was, what strategies do you use to balance your fitness goals and personal growth with the responsibilities of being a single father? Great question. It all starts with planning for me. For so long, I was just trying to just do everything off the cuff and just figure it out day by day. But then I realized I need to get a calendar. So I got not only like a oh weekly God. calendar, but a monthly calendar actually on my fridge right now. I'll post a link and show you guys what it looks like. But I, I have like a monthly calendar. And what I do is I try to plot out all the days I know I'm going to work, all the days I know I'm going to have my son. And if there's any space or opportunity that I can work out that day, I put it in and I kind of try to plan what the workout will be that day. I have an idea in mind what I'm working on. And then on the daily or the weekly, I go through and put every. So that's the monthly calendar. On the weekly calendar, I update it every week. Things that I know are going on are popping up. I put it in to make sure I uh, put what I'm going to have for dinner because my problem with fitness is not eating enough. So. I try to make sure I write down what I might have for dinner or if I need to go to the grocery store, meal prep. So my fitness goals are kind of simple right now too. I'm really just focusing on getting getting strong. I do the same four exercise as the basis of my basis of my workout every every routine for the next three weeks or however many weeks it takes me to take get through this three week cycle. But yeah, it's all about planning. Planning and then being flexible. Because like I tell my boy, who's kind of dealing with the same thing, he has two kids, is that some days you might not be able to do everything you plan to do. Some days you got to prioritize rest. And that's just as beneficial as being a father, having energy to play with your kids. But the days that you do get time in there, you got to go in there, you got to be laser focused. You got to have a plan. You can't just go in willy-nilly. Got to have a plan. And you have to be intense. Most of the time when I go in, now my plan is to be the hardest working person in the, in the gym. And people notice that. And I, if I feel like nobody isn't noticing it, it just gives me a little bit more extra boost to work harder, really go to work. I'm doing burpees in between sets, pull-ups. Um, a lot of times not listening to music. If I do listen to music, I'm not one of those guys rapping loud. But I'm dancing as I walk to the next exercise or I'm super setting. And it's like, yo, how is this guy doing so much so fast? Within reason, all right? I, I adjust the numbers, make sure I eat good, and I just attack. You gotta attack, you gotta plan. It's like war, you gotta, you gotta have a plan to win. So that's what I do to balance the fitness part and the fitness goals. Personal growth with the responsibilities. How do I prioritize personal growth strategies I use? So. I get up early. I think most men will agree that when you become a dad, the best time or the time you get alone to yourself really is in the morning. That's when the world is still and, you know, a lot of people will sleep, emails not coming in like that, phones not ringing, less distraction from Instagram, social media. So I get up early every day. You get up early, you think about your day, really the night before. Try to plan out your day the night before, but if not, definitely the morning of, wake up early, get into your flow. A routine for men is priceless, man. That's what really leads to productivity and getting after it and accomplishing goals. So I think waking up early, you gotta, you gotta train yourself. Even if you don't wake up early, you need to be on a schedule where you say, hey, I know I need to do this, this, and this. In between this and this time, I'm going to do this. So if you got a newborn, you know you're going to put your newborn down for a nap at a certain time. All right, what do you need to do? You need to do laundry. You need to fold clothes. You need to make these calls. You need to send these emails. You got to be efficient. You can't waste time. You can plan to have self-care days and days where you do nothing, but you can't just leave things to chance. You got to be thinking about what needs to be done at all times and what are you going to do to get there. So... It sounds like a lot, but it's part of being responsible and having responsibilities. And once you get used to it, it just kind of becomes second nature. So it's not something I really, it's not something that stresses me, I don't think, anymore. Like I just, now that I have my calendar system and I know what I want to do workout-wise, it just makes life 
like so much easier. Now it's just having time to get all the things done that I want to get done. And with that just comes, you know, you learn to delegate, you learn to prioritize and things from there. So I'm rambling a little bit, but I'm going to keep answering these questions I get and try to make sure it's informative and so it's helping you guys out. Thank you for watching this video. I'll be back soon with more questions to answer. Uh, until then, hey, let me know what you guys recommend for, for strategies to balance fitness goals and personal goals as a parent. How do you balance your fitness goals and personal goals as a parent? Thank you for watching. Yo, PJB. All right, man. This is real rest of tea getting me sleepy, so. Oh, yeah. My mom got me this mug. I'll post a link in case anybody wants one. It says, sometimes you forget you are awesome. So this is your reminder. Cheers.